In this series of videos, we have been discussing about the mRNA processing. Like in the previous one, we have done the mRNA capping. Now in this video, we will be discussing about the mRNA capping or pi prime capping at molecular level. How the various molecules attach and detach at the pi prime end of pre mRNA molecule, thereby giving us the mature mRNA with cap at pi end. Now let's get into the details. If we see the structure of pre mRNA molecule, that's mRNA without cap or without pi prime cap, we see it has got triphosphate first in its structure attached to the ribose sugar having base attached as shown in the diagram. Then we have phosphate that links other sugar entity with base attached. Then it goes on and on with phosphate and sugars repeated. So this forms as the three end of pre mRNA molecule, whereas the end having triphosphate is the five prime end. These phosphates that are on the five prime end are termed as alpha, beta, and gamma phosphate. Now to drive the mRNA capping process, we have some reactants like GTP molecule gaunosine triphosphate. It is having gaunine here with sugar that attaches three phosphates as shown in the diagram. It too has alpha, beta and gamma phosphate. Now let's start the process of mRNA capping. In the first step, the phosphohydrolase enzyme acts on gamma phosphate of pre-mRNA molecule and removes it by the process of hydrolysis. So we see this phosphohydrolase enzyme drives hydrolysis of gamma phosphate of nascent mRNA thus removing it and from this reaction we get this structure now in the next step we have the gtp molecule this gtp molecule is acted upon by gaunonyl transferase enzyme and this transferase enzyme transfers the gmp residue from gtp to the pi prime end of pre mrna molecule as shown in the animation and ultimately we get the gaunosine attached to the pi prime end now we only need methyl group for gaunosine cap and this methyl group is donated from s adomate molecule. Here we see in this diagram we have the s adomate molecule. It is having methyl group here as shown in the diagram. And it is by the help of gaunosine 7-methyl transferase enzyme that transfers the methyl group from s adomate to the gaunosine as shown in the animation. And remember this methyl group is added on gaunosine at the 7th position. That's why we call it M7G cap also. So this forms as the pi prime cap of mRNA. And this cap is called the cap zero structure since only one methyl group is attached. Furthermore, we have the modifications for the cap zero structure. The enzyme 2O methyl transferase generates the modified cap structures of mRNA molecule. But it must be noted that 2O methyl transferase enzyme requires mRNA with gaunosine cap as a substrate. So we see here this enzyme 2O methyl transferase will act on capped mRNA only. Then here comes the 2O methyl transferase enzyme and adds methyl group on 2 hydroxy group of first ribo sugar of mRNA molecule. And this structure is called the cap1 structure. And similarly if one more methyl group is added to the second ribo sugar at same position as shown in the diagram we call it cap2 structure. So we see in the cap2 we have total of 3 methyl groups. 1, 2, 3. In cap 1, we have total of 2 methyl groups as shown in the diagram. Whereas in cap 0, we have only 1 methyl group that's attached to the gaunosine at 7th position. So this is how pi prime capping is done and the molecular structures that we come across during the capping process. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.